There was a time once in my work where everyone gathered together and they talked about how difficult a project would be. And then they talked about how impossible it would be to do. And then they talked about how they didn't want to be a part of it and how they resented uh, having to do this. Pretty soon it became impossible and pretty soon it became something that just was easier to quit than to do. And I remember it was almost like a mob consciousness of negativity that took over. Annie Chapman once said very wisely, we should talk to each other, but it's when we talk together with God that we are fully strengthened. I've thought many times, what if that meeting had been a prayer group where we said in the beginning, God, we don't know how to do this. Strengthen us. Show us the way motivate us, excite us, make this happen through us. I've thought about the incredible creativity and inventiveness that could have come from that negative mob that was created. In Isaiah 40, verses 28 and 29, it says, Don't you know who made everything? Haven't you heard about God? The Lord is the God who lives forever. God created everything on earth, and God won't become worn out or get tired. No one will ever know how great God's understanding is. God gives strength to those who are tired. God gives power to those that are weak. God is the never-ending strength of power, and God will give us the courage if, if we call upon God. And when we're weary, God will give us strength. When we lose hope, God will restore hope in our hearts. When we grieve, God will wipe away our tears. These are promises that we can count on. Do you feel overwhelmed by the tasks that you have in front of you today? Do you feel pressured by the ever-increasing demands of life? Then turn your concerns and your fears over to God in prayer. God knows your needs, and God has promised to meet those needs. Whatever your circumstances, God will provide, God will protect, God will guide and care for you if you let God. Invite God into your heart and allow God to renew your spirit today. Trust God and God will never fail you.